Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another tutorial in 3D Studio Max. This time, we're going to be taking a look at a cool little tip how to give our models rounded corners without adding any extra geometry. So let's go ahead and reset our scene and take a look at how to do this technique. So here we are with a brand new scene and normally if we'd want to give a model rounded edges, we would do something like you know, select all the edges we'd want rounded, go and chamfer it a bit. Just something subtle to give it a more realistic look because not many things in real life have completely sharp edges. So giving it just a little extra rounded corner really goes a long way for presenting your models. And that's great. It would, uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, you know, not much to it, but if we take a look at our poly count, you can see I just turned this six-sided cube into a box with 114 polygon faces, which you might be okay with in some cases. But in other cases, you might just uh, say, you know, that's it, I quit. I'm done with this box, and I'm done with 3D in general, and I'm just gonna quit and sell hot dogs the rest of my life. But I recently found a much more interesting solution. If we go back and create another box, same general properties here, we'll just make it 50 all around. But instead of adding a bunch of extra polygons to this box, we're actually gonna let our render engine do all the work for us. First off, we need to make sure we go to our render settings and change our renderer to mental ray. And it seems that my render has already been set to mental ray, and that's simply because I'm always one step ahead of the game. So we'll just leave it on mental ray and the next step is to pick a special material called Arcan Design. And this Arcan Design material has actually been around for quite a while. I think it's been around since Max version 7, which that was like a long time ago. But this is actually great because if we apply it to our box and double click on it so we get our properties. And the great thing about this material is it not only looks good, but it can do a lot of other cool things. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see a special effects tab. And if we expand that and check round corners and increase it to about 0.75, when we render, we get rounded corners, much like the rounded corners we created a little bit ago. But what makes this so great is if we go and select our all the faces, we still only have six polygons, making this one, two, three, four, less than 114. But wait, there's more. So let's go ahead and create ourselves a plane so that our box has something to sit on. We'll bring back up our materials and apply, and we'll move our box down so it intersects with the plane. And if we render, you'll see something really cool. The box actually looks like it's melting in with the ground, like it's become one piece. So let's take a look at another setting. We'll pull out another arc and design material and we'll give this one a different finish. Let's see, matte's fine. And we're also going to give it a different color. We'll make it green just to distinguish it from the other material. And of course we'll go down to our special effects and check rounded corners, bump this one to 0.75, and we'll take a look at another checkbox. Right now, unlike before, if I were to render this, even though just a second ago both these objects were kind of melting into each other, they're not anymore. We're back to having a sharp edge. And the way we can fix that is this little checkbox right here, blend with other materials. So we have to check that in our green material and then we'll go into our first gray material and check it here as well. Now when we render, even though they're two separate materials, they still are melting together and they have a nice rounded corner between the two. Which this gets really useful for things like text because we all know that text is never fun to get rounded corners on. And we'll go ahead in our modify tab and just add extrude give it a little bit of depth and of course text is always a pain because it's created with really strange geometry 
we try and turbo smooth it and it just collapses upon itself and it looks like a pile of mush. But with the great settings in the Argon Design material, we can just drag this onto our text and it immediately gives it nicely rounded corners. And one more thing for a quick bonus that you can get with the Arc and Design material is, if we bring back up a material editor, the other option you have within the Special Effects tab is this Ambient Occlusion checkbox. And it does exactly what you think Ambient Occlusion should do. So we'll just turn this on for both. Ten, sure. The only other thing you have to change to get this to work is it needs some sort of global illumination to activate the ambient occlusion. So we have to add something like a skylight into our scene. And if we render, we get softer shadows around these areas. Throw a couple of extra lights in there and it's a party. And that's it. Keep in mind that the rounded corners act much like a bump map in the fact that they don't actually give your geometry rounded corners, it just gives you the illusion of rounded corners, much like a bump map gives you the illusion of having bumps. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helps you guys out and gives your renders the necessary edge they need. <laughs> it's a pun. Get it? Edge? And of course, if you want to check out more of these awesome 3D tutorials, go ahead over to youtube.com slash doodlypro to check out all the other cool tutorials that we got going on over there. But until next time, 